The drama for Livia and Angie continues as Livia actually asks some valid questions. What am I to you? Just a pet? And if you think about it, we see her as an NPC. We're just trying to collect three items so she can become a saint because she's just an NPC to us. But then her actually questioning these things, I don't have an answer for. What's Leon going to say? Let's begin today's reaction. I'm sorry, you're just an NPC to me. I'm sorry. What do we even say to this, man? I have no answers. Maybe Leon's just gonna be straight up. You're an ultimate game character. She's a doormat, is the title? <laughs> Who is she? I don't think you need to worry about it. Damn, Luxion. Really? Yeah, I thought... Straight up, I thought, you know, you're just ruthless. Okay. Right, because he solved every problem for her. She needs to figure it out. So is the best way to solve this is by doing nothing and let Livia just solve everything? <laughs> what? Yeah. There's a title drop. She's a doormat. I mean... Luxion is talking a lot of shit, but he's not wrong. He's absolutely correct. He's just delivering us the brutal way, but goddamn, we actually punched Luxion. Is he gonna take damage? Oh! Are you okay? He should be fine. See? <laughs> My hand hurts. <laughs> Purple guy? What do you mean, gear? It's in my response. Alright. Yeah, I thought the blue guy was the swordsman. No, no amount of training is ever going to help you beat him. <laughs> Losers for life. Wait, character development for the husbandos? They've been growing to the point where I feel like I can't really hate on them. Even Purple Guy right now doing this. If I have time for that, I'd rather practice my swing as many times as possible. It makes me harder to hate these characters. Come on, man. Let me hate them. Right. He's the weakest and he's willing to do the most uh, deceitful shit, right? That's why he always does the underhanded shit. When it comes to the appearance, is he? Ah, I feel like it's gonna be green guy or blue, the other guy, the main prince. Yeah, he did. Very humble. Yeah, what do you even like about Marie? She is even worse inside. Wait, Luxion. Wait, Luxion went into hiding. Luxian's showing himself. Now he's like a droid right now. Maybe he's helping us, you know, fight. Spar. I bet he, Luxian took offense there when he says hunk of junk. Dude, I bet he wants to fucking kill him right now. Alright, let's do a little sparring. Come on, Shovel Knight. Whoop his ass. Can we learn something from them and apply that to Livia? Oh? Oh, oh, oh? You're nothing compared to the Shovel Knights. Get out of here. Press X to doubt. But a little bit of that fight, the most important thing there wasn't the fight. It was more about like how he looks towards Marie and how Leon looks towards Livia, right? So maybe we can learn from them here. It's your sister, bro. <laughs> Maybe he hates your sister too back in real life. What is this? Dungeon? Marie's in a dungeon? Let her die. Okay, it's her trap maid and Marie. Oh, for the saint's items, right? What did you just say? Wait. It's not like I can count on Prince Julius. Is she indirectly just shitting on Julius right now? Wait, I mean, or maybe even directly. 
Why can't she rely? Because he's not strong? Or the fact that he can't help for some reason? I feel like this is an insult, right? This is a straight up just insulting Julius right now, right? Okay. Alright. So Marie can become a saint too? Like Lydia? Hmm? Mask and cloaks? Look at these two fucking idiots scheme something. Alright, don't let them cook. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Look at these idiot leading the idiots, dude. This is the perfect scenario of an idiot leading the idiot. He's just green guy just all on board, right? They just simp for him. I have an idea. <laughs> Amazing! Without even hearing the fucking idea, dude. Cloaks and masks. Entertainment. Mom's probably thinking, what is my useless son doing? <laughs> Perhaps those boys really are stupid. <laughs> it's your son! It's your son! What does that say about you, mother? Wait, no, no, no. Let's just bl let's just shift the blame right to the dad, right? G uh, Julius got the dad genes, not her. That all of dad genes, okay? The king is stupid. <laughs> they are stupid, yes. <laughs> Dumbasses. Red hair guy sleeveless as usual. He's always sleeveless. <laughs> Leon's probably gonna go take him out, and you guys won't do anything helpful. Ooh, the Saint. That's right, we're here to get that item. Perfect, alright, let's go fight him. Green guy, sorry. Can they help them? He was so scared last episode that after Leon fought, they're like, oh, this is a real battle. Man, when you do stuff like this, it makes me hard to hate on you. The whole pleasure of watching this show is to shit on the fucking princes, but they're getting development. They're, you know, starting to become more humble and... God damn it. <laughs> Alright, come help then. Okay, okay. Yeah, we still have Julius that we can shit on. Oh, poor Livia. Were they awful? Well, you're not wrong though. You kind of did start getting angry though. <laughs> was it selfish? Maybe, but still right. Everything she said wasn't wrong, but... You know. Alright, more Sky Pirate dueling. Let's go. Nani? Oh shit, it's a thick ass boy, Aroganz! <laughs> It's so little, dude. The shovel just fucking deflects everything. Oh? Holy shit. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the impact that Aragon leaves. Look at this. Pop! Oh, that's a thick ass boy, bro. Oh? We can't. You gotta be safe. Luxion's little robots? More main character shit. Yo, she's done this before, remember? When uh, Livia basically said something during the fight, right? During the fight, Shovel Knight versus the princes, there was a moment where Livia did a speech, but she was able to reach through everybody without a mic, right? That was a very distinctive thing, and it had the same light effect. And then there was a question by Leon saying, Yo, how could, she, how could everyone hear you without the mic? And I'm like, hmm, protagonist shit, right? So right now here too, she somehow reached the heart of their robots. I don't fucking know. Is this the power of the saint? I don't know, but it clearly has something to do with the fact that Livia is supposed to be the protagonist of this Otome game. Maybe she has Conqueror's Hockey, guys. Oh? The big ass robot. No, not Luxio's little robot. No! Leon, are you really the princess? All right, that's a little bit of a Brad dub. Oh, where's Red Guy at? Where's Red Guy at? 
They're putting in work, man. I've had far worse shit than you have, kid. Well, this is the part where I'd be like, let's go fucking red robot guy and saying fuck you, princes. But god damn it, god damn it, they're getting development. I have to cheer for the princes now. God damn it. This is the part where I'm supposed to be laughing and say, ha ha ha, fuck you, princes. The Shovel Knight. Oh, the guy who kicked us. Wait, we're taking too much damage. Oh, it's because he hasn't practiced in a long time? Ne oh, because he's still worrying about Livia. He can't focus in the battle right now. Get in there. She let her sows outside. Because the protagonist speech. Something. What is that something though? Yeah, the princes are, you know, they're doing their work. Wait, is Libby gonna start falling for them because they're helping? Wait. Where are we going with this? With this monologue, suddenly Livia is returning to her regular role as the protagonist of this game because, you know, the, the husbandos and Livia are supposed to be the thing. So right now, by purple and red doing their things to save Livia, we're able to restore the natural course of this game. But that puts Leon on the side. I mean, Leon never really was the romantic interest for Livia, right? I never really saw any type of, like, romantic intent from him to Livia or even to Angie. I don't know. I feel like Leon is just like an observer from the outside who's just kind of just, like, hanging around and doing his shit. But right now, maybe the monologue is baiting us, but interesting where we're going with this. I mean, that is a natural course of the game, but... But... No, I don't want spoilers. Why would I want spoilers? Number three! The shovel was blade number one. Hold up. Another thing is coming out of the armory. Number three. What is it? An axe? Oh, wait, it's an actual weapon. It's an actual fucking weapon, guys. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. It's not a shovel. It's an axe. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please do it. Could Livia use her Conqueror's Hockey again and just pretty say, No, don't do it! And then the light effects happen and then the captain of the Sky Pirates can't move. Is that a possibility? Leon's probably gonna come save, but it'd be interesting if Livia could do that. Oh, here comes the thick ass boy! Holy shit, that was easy. What the fuck? Cleave him. No, don't let him out. Don't let him out. <laughs> Where'd he go? This is pretty intimidating. Look how thick it is. No, fucking cleave his ass. I mean, would Leon do that? He is pretty savage. Come on, just cleave him. Come on. Do it. Do it. Fuck him. No, I don't care. It's too late for that. End him. I don't want to split his ass, yo. Don't pose like that. Yo, holy shit. He's actually so scared. Wait, wait, wait. Suddenly, we're the villain. Wait, what the fuck? Suddenly, we become the villain. Livia's like, please don't. What the fuck? And also, that's right. My bad, Rio. I had to call him Balder. I, 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 I always do this shit, right? With bald people. Wait, wait, wait. Bald! Bald! And give us the item to become the saints. There it is! The bracelet! Or the necklace. <laughs> Fuck! Alright, if the music starts playing, I guess that's about it, huh? I wanted to use the axe on him, but that's a bit too much. What are these tears? Is she happy or is she thinking we're a monster? <laughs> I hope it's happy tears. Okay, Sky Pirates give up. And the seemingly everything is good? Honestly... Brad and the red hair guy, I think they deserve some credit, right? Like, they held it out. They aren't even fit to battle. They took up random mob suits and they still did their thing. Fuck. I can't believe they're getting character development. I, ca I can't believe I can't hate them anymore. They are? They're actually trying to become knights? Okay. 
Hmm, same magic as Marie. I wonder what's going on here, Brad. Hmm. Yeah, you guys happen to have similar haircuts too. I mean, sorry, hairstyle, sorry, hair color. Is that Greg? No, it's Leon. A good couple. Wait, Leon, what are you doing? Wait, he's pushing her away, but pushing her away is the right course of the game. I'm conflicted. I don't know what to do. Because I feel like this is the natural course of the game, but to give up on her like that suddenly feels wrong. Because we've been with her since the beginning. Ah, shit. We're even complimenting him now. What the fuck? What? Huh. Wait, wait, the drama's getting fucking worse! This is getting way worse! Hold up! I thought... And, oh. We stopped calling Olivia there. I missed that. Wait, 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 wait. We called her Olivia, right? Olivia's son. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I thought that by saving her here, we would have kind of, like, resolved this drama between us. But this is getting worse. Now we're, like, becoming more distant. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh, he just walks away. Yo, what are we doing? Why are we doing this? Everything is fucking wrong right now. Everything is fucking wrong. I can't hate on the princes. The princes are having development. Levi and the princes are getting better. And, and, and Levi is pretty much just like Olivia's son now to Leon. What's, what's going on? Also, none of these guys do fucking leg days. Huh? Holy shit, they're so fucking flat. Look at this. What in the fuck is this? They're literally a bunch of Lamau laugh my ass off. <laughs> it's over, man. It's over. Well, this is still only like episode nine, right? So there's still a couple episodes left, you know, come back. So in any type of story, you know, you need to have some kind of drama, some kind of like low point for us to come back. So without it, without that, it's not really exciting, right? So I'm sure this is all designed. It's fine. It's fine. Right? Right? <laughs> oh, right. Fuck Carla. That's right. We still have to take her out. Oh? We got paperwork? We got proof? Ooh. I agree. I would not hesitate to destroy this kingdom. <laughs> this world, yo, Luxio sometimes says some shit like, if I wasn't paying attention, it would have just gone over me right here. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, technically in episode one, he pretty much said that, you know, the new humans, they need to be fucking get rid of, right? I mean, he, he was trying to kill, trying to kill Leon, too. So like, what he's saying is not too different from his origins, but goddamn, Luxio, Jesus. Create a world that suits Leon. <laughs> Elves and cat girls. All right, good choice. <laughs> kind of looks like Delta on the far right. Yeah, it's kind of the same. Hmm. What are we going to do about it then? Oh, this feels weird, seeing her hang out with them like that. Oh, no. What about Angie, man? Angie, her, her, speak of the devil. Wonder if Angie and Livia are also going to continue their drama. Uh-oh. What happened? Dumbass. Huh. They're getting the award instead of Leon. And even then, the princes are fighting on behalf of Leon. Interesting. Because he's trying to be a mob character. Yo, Greg and Brad, I'm, I'm beginning to like them more and more. They're even gonna reverse the disinheritance, maybe? What? 
Yo, I feel like this is getting some snafu flashbacks right now. We're doing the Hachiman self-sacrifice mode. What the fuck? Leon's taking all the ship so everyone else can kind of succeed. Yeah, this is crazy. I'm actually calling him Brad and Greg instead of purple and red now. What the fuck's happened to me? Okay, what's gonna happen to this girl? Hold up, hold up. Mom? <laughs> That was like the fireworks punishment. Yo, I want the guillotine. Please bring out the guillotine. Give me a public execution, please. Please. Come on. <laughs> public execution. Come on. Come on. Guillotine her. <laughs> and she's upset. I, I mean, I, Livia made herself cry. Damn, we got slapped by Angie? Oh, shit. Yo, we are totally going Hikigaya Hachiman route right now. We're losing everything. At least we still have Luxie on. And, and the mom, right? We got the queen. But Livia and Angie are pretty distant. What are, what are we doing? Where are we going with this? So Livia and Angie's relationship is still shaky. Damn. Damn. Oh? The princes again. Okay. Look at this respect, man. Hmm? What are they gonna do? Were they gonna talk to the queen and then somehow vouch for a bard fart? And then somehow Leon... I don't know. Wait, wait, what? What are they gonna do? He really hate me that much and I was gonna pause to read this, but then I can't fucking read this language. So that was a waste. What happened? Promoted from upper six to lower fifth rank. That sounds somehow like a demotion, but it's technically the numbers, right? So there's like upper, middle, and lower, but then the numbers matter. So we went from six to fifth. So we basically got increased one rank. Why does he hate this? Why, do, why does Leon hate this? Does this mean like more responsibility for us to do, I guess? Okay, what's the problem? So we're higher ranked than father. Wait, wait, wait. What is the problem here, though? What is the problem? Don't tell me they're fucking sending letters to Mary. Oh, I guess we kind of just go back to the... Okay, I thought that he had... He, Technically, this is better for him, but then now he has more responsibilities and he just wants to be a mob like Sid, right? Wait, Glarus is actually coming out for us? I mean, I like this senpai, dude, right? The third year senpai we actually made friends with, but hold up. I offer you my daughter now. We got an air bike? Yo! And take my daughter? Oh, he recommended! Wait, 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 wait. I have recommended you to be promoted to upper fifth rank after graduation. God, yo, we are moving the fuck up in the ranks, huh? Because like, if you think about it, no one is even a knight yet in his age, right? It's unprecedented that someone like him in high school would just become a knight. But now he's already fucking lower like fifth. He was already upper sixth. Now he has a guaranteed promotion after graduation. In terms of fucking advancing through the hierarchy, yeah, he's killing it. But in terms of what he wants to be a mob character, kind of fucking sucks, right? So at what point are we viable to become the queen's husband, huh? At which rank? Okay. And I think that's the episode. Ending. Yep. And that's the episode. And even though technically at the end, everything is looking good. Everything is actually looking pretty bad because I can't shit on Brad and Greg anymore. The fact that I'm calling them Brad and Greg already proves that what the fuck are we doing? I can't shit on them anymore. The princes are actually getting character development. Everyone but Julius maybe. So it's like, damn, I can't just shit on them. They're actually being kind of nice. And like, the relationship between Livia and Leon is pretty much gone. We're just pushing her away so that she can be with the princes, which is technically 
how the course of the Otome game was supposed to go. And Angie and Livia are pretty shaky too. At the very least, that, you know, that, that girl, right, pretty much got the punishment from the Queen. Man, if we can just ever see an actual guillotine scene, that would be great, right? I hope she got the fucking guillotine, but hey, as long as she got what she got coming, eh, that's worth it to me. Now, we have a couple episodes left, which is gonna be the last arc, right? Are we going to somehow solve the problem between us and Livia? Is this ever gonna get solved? I hear season two is already confirmed too, so maybe it'll kind of lead into that, but it'll be interesting to see what's gonna be next. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.